Hi, um, today I'm just going to give you a very quick introduction to the website Quizlet. You may have used it before in other subjects uh, to go through a range of different things. It can be used for just about everything. Um, but I'm going to focus on one particular area which I've noticed for many students becomes an issue and it, it ends up costing you quite a few marks in the HSC exam and that is historical terms. Um, there are, I haven't actually made any quizzes because there are so many already for the topics that we study in ancient history that I'd just be reinventing the wheel. So the first thing that you want to do in Quizlet is go to search. So I'm going to search for Pompeii and Herculaneum to start with um, because that's a topic where I've noticed that there could be significant improvement in the use of terms and concepts. So what you've got here in your search results is you can see that there are um, a range of quizlets that have already been created by other people. Um, so I'm just going to choose one um, that has lots and lots of terms. We'll do, do the 102 terms. Um, now what you can do, you do need to sign into this, but that's pretty easy. It's just the same as creating an account for any other thing that you use online, any other type of social media. Um, what I've been doing is, and I've started just adding them to my list, and that way you can go back and use them. So before I do anything, I'm going to add it to a folder. I'm going to create a new folder called Pompeii and Herculaneum. Make sure I spell it right. Okay, so that is in there now. So if I, if I want to have a look at that set, I just go here. Now there's a range of ways that you can use the information that this person's put in the Quizlet. So there are things called flashcards. Small, solidified fragments of lava. So it'll read, you can um, mute or turn off and you can quiz yourself and you click it to flip. So the flashcards is one way. Another way you can click on it is learn. You can type the answer in. Um, and I'm not actually sure of what the answer of that one is. <laughs> Domina, there we go. Um, so there's also one that where you can check your spelling. Not as important um, for it's our context, um, but it's still something that it might be worth doing just to give yourself another way of doing it. There's also a test, um, and there's a whole heap of different um, forms in this test, true, false, uh, multiple choice, matching questions. Um, there's also a scatter, um, which is kind of like a game to try and make it all fun and it gives you a time as well so you have to match stuff up, um, which might be harder than it looks <laughs> depending on what you know. And then there's this last one called gravity, which is another game, which I'm not very good at, so I'm not going to show you how to play it. You can have that fun all on your own. Um, so basically what this will do is it gives you a way to quickly and easily revise your terms and concepts. So if you go into, if you once you create your account, if you go into your study sets and you click on folders, you can actually see which folders you've created and I've done one for the Greek world I'll put a set in there and then it'll it'll just save them so you can you don't have to use them all at once the other thing that you can do is it'll um, show you which ones you've actually studied um, so and it'll tell you how long you've spent on them that's probably more useful for teachers than it is for students um, but it also will give you an idea as to whether you've actually done enough revision on a particular topic or not. There are quizlets for um, Xerxes uh, and Spartan society as well because these are very commonly used by teachers of HSC ancient history so take some time and find the ones that look like they've got the, the most use for you. As I said, historical terms and concepts um, are one of the things that students across the board lose marks for where you don't need to. So if it, it's, it's a matter of just having enough of them up your sleeve so that when you get into the exam, instead of just writing a description of the thing, you can use the correct Latin, Greek, Persian name for whatever it is that you're trying to talk about. And that, that automatically gives you a bit of an extra boost in the marking criteria for that particular question. So hopefully this has been useful. Um, I'll put a link to Quizlet uh, in the comments and the information for this video as well, but it's very easy to find. Um, have fun doing your history quizzes. Bye.